Hey, what's going on guys? George here with APG. Today we're gonna to show you something new, something we've been working on and we think, we think you're gonna like it. Introducing a Bronco Raptor built by APG. Hey look, let's just jump right into it. You didn't like them, either did we. This is what we got here now. We took care of this for you guys. We know this was a huge sticking point on Bronco Raptor. It was a big complaint. Why are they so wide? Why are they so bulky? You know, that's the way they decided to do it. And this is how we decided to do it. In come the Pro Runner body system for Bronco Raptor. All right, now, what is it? How did we do it? How did we get to this point? Let's start at the corner like we always do and let's start talking about the components. Right now you're looking at the standard APG Bronco Pro Runner body system outfitted on a Bronco Raptor. Now you ask, what is it gonna to take to get it done? Overall, the same build of materials, same amount of parts, just a little bit of a freshened up look, which you guys all love so much. So as we go through this build, we're gonna jump back and forth, but the vehicle is highly accessorized on top of the body system and some great performance and some suspension upgrades. So again, back to the corner of the vehicle, you've got the all carbon APG wide body fender outfitted with our one inch flare, which has the front tire sit absolutely flush in the one o'clock position. You're gonna notice that this is a completely stock Bronco Raptor wheel and tire, which is, you know, the 37 inch tall, which has got a, you know, it's, it's got a pretty large backspace so that tire sits in like a just as the factory intended. Now, if you had an aftermarket wheel, your wheel and tire combination will sit out a little bit past this one inch flare, and that's when our three inch flare is gonna come in perfect if you wanted that flush look. Now, there are so many accessories on this Bronco. I'm just gonna start at the top. I'm gonna work my way down so we can cover everything. Starting at the top, we've got the linkable light bar sitting on top of the windshield. That's got the, the spot combos in the middle with some floods on the outside to get you that wide range of light. You've got some XL Pro sitting on the ditch at the lower corner of the windshields. Now look at the hood vent. This is a Ford factory hood. We've refinished in a J7 magnetic gray, refinished in a satin clear coat. That's gonna match a lot of the other trims on the Bronco, including the grill and some color matching we did onto the lower bumper trim. This is a Ford factory original Bronco Raptor grill and headlights. It's got the linkable light bar built into the top of the HD modular bumper. We've got some special painted tow hooks just to kind of accent the vehicle paint. Now the customer wanted to keep that J7 paint scheme all the way down, so we did the hood trim, the lower bumper trim, and we also refinished this front skid plate in that same J7 magnetic color code, that way it's all consistent across the uh, front of the vehicle. The actual HD modular bumper itself has got some SAE approved amber fog lights connected to the factory fog switch. It's also got some outer lights connected to a upfitter switch or your uh, switch pro. So on the front suspension system, we teamed up with Fouts Motorsports. They've got these beautiful Fox orange anodized billet upper control arms. They've got uniballs, Heim joints on the inside. Fouts did a great job, it looks fantastic. We've also got a Fouts Motorsport spring perch collar, which is gonna prop up the front suspension just to kind of level it out. It's also got that heavy duty outer tie rod, which all matches that same factory Fox orange. All right, and as you guys liked on Bronco Pro Runner, of course we have to carry over those full carbon fiber wheel well liners. These are unique to Bronco Raptor because we've got some different cutouts for the brake lines, but as you'll see, our carbon fiber wheel well liner, carbon fiber is flawless. All right guys, so a lot of you think about a wheel well liner that it's just supposed to you know, protect the engine bay from rocks and debris entering to the engine bay from off-roading or driving on the road. While that's true, and ours are beautiful, but our wheel well liners also act as a structural component tied into our flare and our primary fenders so it's strong. There's no play or flex in the body system. It's gonna keep all that paint and all that body work absolutely perfect. All right, now onto the side of the vehicle. Like all things, no details omitted here at APG. We refinished the mirror caps and the front and rear door handles in the factory color just to give it that extra pop. You'll also notice we've got the, I believe the first ever Next Venture rock sliders installed on the actual Bronco Raptor. Now these are actually manufactured customly for us that are a little bit shorter. So if you wanted to you know, increase your tire size with our body system, you could. Now guys, I can tell you these rock sliders are absolutely beastly. I have fell on them hard and they've protected the entire undercarriage of the body. They've also protected the actual pinch wall that runs along. And I've come off rocks pretty hard. So if I can't break them, you guys are not gonna. So rear body system, 
you know, similar to what you guys have seen on Bronco Pro Runner. You've got our flawless door transition trim. You've got our primary fender that routes all the way down. That also closes up the underside. And also matching the front fender flare, you've got our one inch flare. And again, this is also refinished in a matte clear that just gives the carbon such a beautiful appeal. You know, I always say on carbon, if you can refinish it in matte and get it to look so perfect, then you've reached the best. Most of the times you see these other carbon companies just cake on the clear coat and they're burying the, their defects. But when you get close into APG's carbon, it's flawless. It's of the quality of supercar manufacturers. And that's what we deliver on all of our vehicles here. As you guys know, Bronco Raptor's got a different rear tail light. It's got some weird geometry in there and it's got that cutout. So we naturally had to make some sort of a bracket or a cover panel so we can cover it just the way that Ford intended. Now, just like anything else at APG, we don't, we're not gonna cut a corner. So we made it out of matching carbon fiber, also refinished in matte clear. The really interesting part about this rear panel is it mimics some of the geometry in the rear tail light. So it doesn't really seem out of place. It fits and flows like the remainder of the body system. All right, so rear suspension. All that's really going on back here are these Faust Motorsports trailing arms. They're made out of all billet material. They've got uniballs and wobble stoppers. We've got them on the uppers and the lowers. You can't see the uppers, but look how good those lowers look, you know, shining through, also matching in that fox orange. All right, now we're gonna talk about the rear of the vehicle. You're gonna notice we have our same Expedition 1 APG Collab rear bumper system, but it does not have the swing away tire gate. Now, the reason we don't have a tire system on that is because it's a factory wheel and tire combination, meaning that the Ford Bronco Raptor is capable of supporting that factory weight. So we naturally just remounted it to the same system. But if you look pointing through that spare tire mount, you'll notice this incredible system that our friends over at AGS developed. Behind that wheel is a twin piston ARB compressor, tucked neatly, nicely. You can't see that it's there, and I believe that's where we really want the big bulky accessories on our off-road vehicles. It's got a quick connect chuck sitting right there, fully capable. It's got the backup camera, all the reverse proximity sensors, factory tow package, the electrical. It's just fully integrated. Now, you'll notice in the rear bumper, we've also got those diffuse squadron sport lights. You know, we use that as like a reverse light to help see if you're you know, backing up at dark trails at night or setting up camp or unloading cargo or really whatever you can use those lights for. You've also seen this on basically a lot of our Pro Runner builds, even the Mid Runner that we released, but also on Bronco Raptor, we incorporated the same rear winch setup. It's got the cutout on the X1 rear bumper system. It's got a Factor 55 fair lead. Uh, we haven't put in the uh, ProLink E yet, but that's gonna go in soon. It's got the same step plate that's built out of stainless. Now, as you've seen in the past, the winch is hidden, you can't see it, fully functional. It's got a built-in skid plate under the bottom. You can bang it up on rocks, you're not gonna hurt it. And now another great benefit of our rear winch plate system is how it ties together the rearward most cross member and the, and the frame. It stiffens up the whole rear end of the vehicle and that's the theme on Bronco Raptor. So we're super proud about that. All right, so now we've got the tailgate pop, the back hatch open, and you're looking inside the car and it looks completely original, right? Doesn't, no accessories, nothing stands out. That could not be further from the truth. There are so many electronics on board this thing, I cannot wait to dive into these details. What we didn't want to do is sacrifice cargo capacity. With all these modern cars with their CAN bus systems, you turn the audio on, your, your stereo system's gonna shut off after a few minutes, and you don't want to idle it. You don't want to kill your primary battery. So that's always a bit of a challenge. And I know there's a bunch of dual battery setups out there, but you haven't seen a dual battery setup like this. Inside of this winch plate, is a custom fabricated housed 200 amp hour LiPo 4 battery made by Dakota Lithium. That puts off so much power as a deep cycle battery that you can bump the stereo system, you can have your coolers, you can run your accessories, your lights for days. But check this out. You're, you're parked on a trailer, or a camping site, or wherever you are and you wanna to listen to music. Look how easy this is. You touch a button, you didn't know the button was even there from the camera angle. You touch this button, and you've activated the entire audio system. As you just heard in that beep, you just activated Bluetooth and it just connected to my phone. Now, it's Bluetooth capable, meaning you can walk away from the car and sit at your campfire, or do whatever you wanna do, but it's all automatic. This button is gonna override the instrumentation on the dashboard. It's a whole independent, isolated system powered by this massive 200 amp hour battery. You push a button, you play your music. 
I know you like that song. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> We're gonna pause that song for you guys. Now, as soon as, you, let's say you were playing music from the secondary audio system, as soon as you sit inside the driver's seat, you turn the engine on, it's gonna move that function directly over to this factory head unit. You don't have to do anything. So now in order to power this mega audio system, you need an electrical system. Now, that system needs to have several functions. Your primary crank alternator and battery needs to be able to charge that LiPo 4 lithium battery and you know, not piss off your smart alternator. There's fusible links, there's all sorts of relays and electrical uh, plugs connecting the battery system you know, to the amplifiers as well as connecting to the primary crank battery. We place them all inside of this cabinet. We built a miniature little RV cabinet. Yeah, it's very crowded inside of there, but we have a lot going on. It's safe, everything is wire loom and shrink tubes. Everything has got proper gauge capacity and shielding. It's all fused. Everything's calculated. Now, inside of this cabinet, we've got this really neat charge controller made by Red Arc. The primary function of the Red Arc controller is a charge controller. So you can plug in your solar panels to the Anderson plugs up there, but it's also a charge controller from the alternator. These new automobiles, they have smart alternators. The onboard computer system on the Bronco is gonna sense if you're trying to charge something else that it doesn't know that's there. So that's gonna measure the variable output of the, of the alternator and only absorb more juice than it needs. You're gonna have a neat little um, gauge right there that's gonna show you your primary and auxiliary battery voltage. And that's also gonna, it's gonna do a couple of things. It's also gonna not just display the voltage, but it's gonna trigger your Switch Pro and let you know that you're back here and you're using some of the functions. Now you'll notice another switch over here to the right this is gonna open up the lead just as a display voltage to understand and, and to see where your primary crank voltage is. This Red Arc controller has a really cool function that let's say you happen to somehow suck your primary crank battery too low, you hit a momentary switch on your app or the panel up front, it's gonna merge both batteries together and hopefully give you enough juice to start your car to get you out of where you gotta go or to recharge your battery systems. We decided to place this panel here one, because it was out of the way, it won't get hit or knocked. But we've also got a 12 volt plug in for your cooler, your fridge, or what an old traditional cigarette lighter style. And then we've also got an intelligent USB connection point, USB 3.0, USB 4.0. It's got these cool little dust covers on there. And as we covered in the Red Arc controller, you've got these access to you know, connect as many solar panels as you want. So we put a pretty sweet 50 amp um, solar input right there. It's got an Anderson connector. You always need light in your cargo areas. You need to see what you're getting, you know, grabbing some stuff out of your bag or, I don't know, looking for a lost Barbie or something. Having extra light on board is something the Bronco really needed because these factory lights are pretty dim. So we installed this Baja Designs dome light switch with a push button. You just kind of reach in, push your dome light button, and now you've got all this extra light to help you see what you're doing. So as you guys know, Bronco Raptor comes with some neat interior upgrades. You know, it's got some carbon fiber handles and some nice accenting trim. You know, Ford refinishes those in a matte clear. And that's why we went with the matte clear exterior, just so it all ties together. And you'll also notice it's got a whole new interior. This vehicle came from the factory with this navy blue pier, you know, dashboard, lower dash, center console, doors, seats. That wasn't gonna work for the client. So we ripped out the entire interior and our friends at Rogelio's took care of this and did an excellent job. They ripped out all the seat covers, front and rear, all, you know, just, just elegant stitching. It's nice and tight, there's no ripples or effects. It looks like it was released from the factory this way. You know, and to control all those accessories, the rock lights, front bumper lights, chase lights, everything, we use almost exclusively Switch Pro. That's tied into that factory upfitter switch location. SDHQ makes an incredible mount that just houses that RCR Force switch panel, ties in neatly to the factory trim panels and just got tons of light sources. And the rare need that you have to pop your hood of your 2023 or newer car, we've got this pretty cool function. Check this out. We implemented this pretty cool little dome light, but engine bay mounted. So in order to activate that light, Got a little switch here, let's crank it on, and it illuminates your entire engine bay. I can, I can think of a lot of times that this would have really helped me. Now let's say you forgot to turn it off, you're locking up, you're shutting your hood. We've got this bypass switch right here. So as this hood closes, it's gonna shut that off. It's got a bit of a fail safe in there so you don't 
you know, drain your primary battery because this is hardwired. You don't need to have the engine running or something else. All right, now it wouldn't be an APG build without a little bit of a you know, kick on the rear end. So we've got some performance options that we added to this Bronco Raptor. Probably every one that's available for it. So we started with a Whipple intercooler and performance calibration. It's gonna give you a great horsepower jump, keep that intercooler air nice and cool and just keep everything running more efficient. It's also got a, a straight SPD downpipe and a full Magnaflow Overland Series exhaust system. All brand new to market components, gives it you know, really good horsepower jump on this turbocharged engine and you can really feel it out there. All right guys, so if these aren't for you, we hope you may consider an APG body system this will be available to market real soon, so you can do away with these guys. Anyhow, we brought to you another video showing you APG's product. We're proud of what we've done here on Bronco Raptor as we have with Bronco Pro Runner. And like always, continue, hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed what you've seen, and we'll see you on the next one.